right, you guys, welcome to Thursday. How are you doing? Hope everybody's doing great today in my astrology group, my Twin Flame astrology group. We're going to be talking about the progressed composite chart. So that is the chart of the relationship itself as, a th as an entity unto itself. And in those charts, you're going to get to see what you are ready for, what the mission and purpose is even. We can look at that. So that's going to happen today with my uh, Twin Flame Astrology folks. If you're not in and you're interested in that, there's a link below. Okay. Distant Thunder. Hmm. Discovering Truth. Interesting. You stand in the light of truth. Rainbow Blessings. Blessings are showering into your life. I love that. Overcoming Obstacles. You can overcome anything. So the card that's underneath, um, there's some things going on in your life or things going on between you and someone else or other people. There really needs to be a closing of a chapter, like the um, there needs to be a clearing of the air. And you're, once you do that, I feel like this truth that you're saying to clear the air that's one of the reasons you can pull that ace of swords out of that stone. That's one of the reasons you can keep on moving. It's like a blessing shower in something. There's something that needs to be said out loud. Okay. It, whether it's you have to say it out loud to somebody or somebody needs to say it out loud to you. Either way, it needs to be said. Okay. And then this this next uh, chapter can begin. I don't know what this distant thunder is. I'll, I'll clarify it. It can be different for each one of you. So I'm guessing that the person who, who's reading this is for is going, oh yeah, I know what that is. Oh yeah, I know what that is. What is the, what is the elephant in the room? What is the elephant in the room? Okay. So you might want to name it and claim it. Knight of Wands. Queen of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Five of Wands. So um, the cards that are underneath are always about what's going on behind the scenes or what's going on subconsciously, even though we don't know. I, I feel like there's an, uh, an, an effort, the two nights, there's an effort to connect with someone physically, lovingly, queen of cups, financially, fiscally, <laughs> or just put it there. Someone's putting in the time and effort to connect with you, regardless of what is going on in their life, regardless of their situation. They're trying to connect with you. Um, I feel like there is something about that that needs to be talked about. Like what's really going on here? Do you ever have those experiences where <clears throat> neither one of you are really saying it out loud, but you both kind of know what's going on, but like someone's got to say it out loud. Someone's got to say it out loud. Hanged man. Six of cups. Eight of swords. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Hmm. Really? Okay. Seven of Pentacles, the Empress and the world, the chariot, the King of Pentacles, five of swords. Wow. Ooh. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I have been getting this for a while. Um, it feels to me like some of you are, are very much walking the path that is your purpose or your mission. You may not know that yet, that what's going on with you or where you're headed is going to lead you to exactly where you need to be. Of course it is. All roads lead to Rome, right? There's, you're going towards your, your own divinity. You're going towards your gifts. You're, you're actively doing that, but you may not see it. You may not know it. Okay. Hanged Man and the Eight of Swords. It's kind of like spiritual enlightenment is happening right under your nose. Or even if you don't see it, it's happening. Now, the Six of Cups 
can be about um, past past people or past situations coming up again, coming up again for review. <clears throat> And it, it makes sense to me that this is going to move forward in a very concrete way. You are moving forward in your path and mission. I just get the feeling that like you don't know what's ahead. You don't know what's ahead. And some of it could be a little scary. Some of it could be a little bit shocking, a little bit unclear. No, it is unclear right now. The path forward is unclear right now. Why is this Eight of Swords here? Uh, some of you are stepping into your spiritual enlightenment and then like trying to hold on to some old mindsets that are not serving you anymore. All right. Some, yeah. Seven of Wands, the Judgment card. <laughs> wow. Really resisting a calling here. Two of Wands and the Four of Swords. It's likely you're resisting a calling um, because you, okay, stick with me on this. It's likely you're resisting the calling of the, the new path because you think you're supposed to stay where you are. You don't know that moving or, or really embracing that spiritual path is going to bring you into connection with your twin flame. You have this mindset that I've got to stay here. Something like that. There's a sense of like, I don't, I, it's not me that needs to make the choice. It's not me that needs to make the move or whatever. And so there is a, there is a sense of like, you are going to have to embrace what's in front of you, embrace the next steps, embrace that. Because I feel like some of you are actively pushing back on your calling because you're not sure you're not, uh, knowing it doesn't look like this is the way it's supposed to happen. It doesn't look like what you thought it would look like. And so there's a resistance here. And why is this five of swords here? Oof. Five of swords is about manipulative behavior. It's almost like this King of Pentacles is staring right at that Five of Swords going, not, you know, not today, not today. You're not going to manipulate me today. I'm going to move forward. Um, there could be other people in your life, right? This Five of Wands who are trying to block your path forward because that means you might be leaving them behind or they're, you're going to do some stuff that they don't want you to do. They're, people might be trying to control you. Okay. So the five of swords, there's the ace of pentacles, nine of pentacles, six of wands, strength. Uh, I feel like this king of pentacles with this chariot energy is busting right through. This is like a, um... <laughs> all right. So this is like a parking garage. <laughs> Why am I getting these metaphors? A parking garage, right? They that that arm goes up and down, lets people in, closes it off. And if you're really, you know, we obey them. When we're in our cars, we're like, okay, we have to push the button for it to go up. We're not gonna go pushing through it. But this sort of feels like there's a boundary. There's a boundary that's an obstacle that is an illusion. It's an illusion. It's not real. And it's like we're just trying to get you to, or, uh, no. Mm -mm. As a child, when you were being raised, you were taught to be a rule follower or you were taught to, um, respect certain boundaries about things as there's nothing. I, I see it on Downton Abbey all the time. Like there's nothing to be done the, you know, and it's usually the servants that are saying that because they, their, uh, life path, is what it is. I'm saying that again, right? Like, it's like, they don't think they can bust out of service. They don't think that they, and it's the time in our history or in British history when they start to bust out of being servants and everything like that. So it's a very uh, transformative time between World War One and World War Two, And there's something here about like busting through the parking gate. Like, that's not real. 
And I don't, I'm not suggesting you're busting through a parking gate. I am saying that there is some kind of rule you've been following all along that's not a rule. It's not a thing. It's not a thing. And it's held you back from love. It's held you back from maybe your twin flame. It's held you back from uh, making money or having a, your own business. It's just that I almost feel like some of you could be coming in contact with a soulmate that is helping you to see that these things are not real. It, there's another person here. And whether it's a best friend or it's a uh, love partner or it's a, it's probably not a parent. I almost feel like it's a, it's a, com, um, a comrade, <laughs> a comrades in arms, right? It's like fellow, uh, fellow travelers here. You're standing in the light of truth. Those people are also standing in the light of truth. And so there's something here about like, hey, that's not a thing. You think you have to respect this kind of arbitrary boundary, but it's not a thing. And, you know, when we were kids having this experience of like changing the rules mid game because it didn't suit you kind of a thing, <laughs> like, no. You don't have to do that anymore. That's not part of this game anymore. Like, okay, everybody knows that there's a new rule. So this is almost like new rule, right? You see that on the internet all the time. New rule, this is what we're going to do. And I feel like this is a new rule. <laughs> and the, the, reason, the reason is that to stay in the old rule, whatever it is for you, has been too um, restricting and your job right now is to expand. This is Venus energy. Okay. And your job is to expand, even though you've been, you know, sort of minding the store, minding the shop, minding the, the rules of the way a relationship works or whatever. You're just like, you know what? This rule sucks. Let's change it. Okay. If you and I both agree we can change it because you and I are the ones in this relationship. So if we don't like it that in past relationships, this is how it's been, we can change it. You're like, oh, wow, we've got some power here. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And I almost feel like one of you kind of busts through that parking gate and like going over, climbing over the garden wall into this new chapter, Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. And, you know, being sort of like, wow, look at you. You broke through it. You got out of this. You got out of this trap. You got out of something that was really holding you back creatively, expansively in, in many, many ways uh, and was really holding on. It was it was almost like you're in a balloon and someone's holding on to the rope and won't let you fly. You're like, OK, I'm chopping off the rope. I'm not going to chop off his arm. I'm going to chop off the rope. Bye. Something's holding you back. Something is holding you back here. Page of Pentacles. High Priestess. Mm, eight of Wands. There's clarity about the future. So uh, when you do this, when you're like, uh, why do I think that I have to do it like this? Right? Like, why does this, why, why? It's not serving me anymore. I'm going to stop doing it. Right? And like, you know, <laughs> well, all I can, I, I'm, exp I'm having this image of like Thanksgiving dinner and every family has their own traditions. Uh, Thanksgiving is an American thing, obviously, but everybody has their own traditions and um, when people get married, they can merge their traditions or do something completely different. And it's kind of like that. And I remember traveling a lot for Thanksgiving and that was kind of a breaking of a tradition because most Americans, some of you aren't American watching this. So most Americans, the traveling they do is simply to other people's houses. They go to grandma's house. Everybody comes to this house. Everybody, you know, it's like that. But I recall, um, Thanksgivings for at least 10 years when I was first married, the beginning parts of that, we traveled, we went to the Caribbean, we went to other places and it was just sort of like, yeah, why do we have to stay here and eat this big meal? Can we do something that we want to do? Can we also give thanks when we're sitting on a beach? Yeah, we can do that. 
we can make change. We can make change, in, and that's kind of a silly little example, but there's something here about when you open yourself up to new new horizons, new opportunities, there's going to be a little bit of backlash. There's going to be a little bit of that, but your intuition is going to open wide up. Your learning about what you're here to do, your mission, your purpose, all of this stuff. There's The thing that's blocking you from moving forward is something that you think is supposed to be some kind of way of being in the world, some kind of, this is how people behave, or this is how, and it's kind of like, it's a construct of your upbringing. It's not real. And so new people coming into your life or changes that you're making in your life and your career and other things, you can make some, you can make new rules for yourself. And you know, you grow and you expand and you change and you step into this spiritual mission and other people aren't always going to like it. I'm sure you'd experience that. Other people are not always going to like it, but you're going to kind of bust through that. It's like, it's not your job. It's not my job to make sure that everybody's happy with my life. It's not my job. And, you know, other people are going to do what they're going to do. Um, Right. Other people are going to do what they're going to do. So three of pentacles, the emperor. Oh, that's beautiful. Emperor, empress, queen of wands and the moon. Um, some some of you uh, and I'm just going to say this like this can be an individual uh, kind of part of your journey. But there can also be because I'm seeing I'm, I am seeing a fair amount of love connection here. And some of you may be getting married, getting married or getting ready to marry getting ready to be in relationship with somebody because this is like, you see how the Knight of Cups is riding up behind her. Um, might be getting ready to marry or getting ready to be in relationship with somebody that you're fi you think your family may not like or the circumstances of it may call other people to say stuff to you, rude stuff. Um, and I think there's a chance here because you are very intuitive to really clear the air about something and lay it down. Queen of swords. Come here. Qu Queen of swords. It's like lay it down for them and just be like, listen, I don't care whether you, well, that's kind of harsh, but like, it's not my, it's not my intent to hurt anybody, but it's also, this is my path. And whether you approve or you don't approve is kind of like your business. It's really none of my business. Uh, whether you approve or you don't approve, um, I'm going to move forward with my life. And if you feel the need to not be a friend of mine anymore, if you feel the need to not be part of my life anymore, that's your decision. But I'm here. I'm moving forward with my life. I'm going to marry who I'm going to marry. I'm going to be... Uh, who I'm going to be in my career. I'm going to do something that is going to be absolutely authentic to me. And it is going to, uh, the universe will celebrate that. Okay. Some of you have held yourself back from being your, uh, tr your true authentic self for such a long time. This is going to feel like you've been let out of a cage. Okay. Just, I just see the expansiveness of this. And it, as it turns out, the, the restriction was kind of flimsy. It was just a, it was just a guideline. It was just really like it, you don't have to do it. And so there's might be a little bit of a blow up here, might be a little bit of a, a rumble of thunder. There might be some kind of conversation had, but at the end of the day, you're the one that lives your life. And so stand up for yourself. This is about standing up for yourself and doing what you want to do. And as long as you're, you know, and this feels like a universal law, right? Um, harm no one, be kind, like whatever it is, whatever your moral structure is, if you are aligned with that in such a more uh, expansive way, because you're really truly living your authentic life, rainbow blessings, being your true authentic self, there is nothing, the universe will celebrate, celebrate that. 
celebrate that. So I will continue this reading. I'm going to pull cards for each zodiac sign. We'll go deeper into this. But this feels like a shift out of an inauthentic way of life into something more real. Hmm. All right. Link is below if you want to continue on with me. I'll see you over there. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.